G'day folks, well, a lady gave me some um, Chinese rubbish today, I suppose you might call it. She reckons this thing's about a year old and it hasn't ran for half of that. So, um, I'm gonna give it a quick wash before doing anything to it. So it's um, got a bit of an oil leak, it's still got plenty of oil in it. Then we might add some fuel and just see what happens. Underneath it all, this thing's virtually brand new. Up there, a little bit underneath, but all the paint still virtually there, so it's had a bugger all years. Anyhow, we'll get some degrees on it, pressure wash it, and see what happens. Now we've got some minty clean garbage. Um, first things first, I might just drop the bowl off the carb. Um, I, while I had it tipped over, I saw a little bit of fuel leaking out of the um, fuel cap that was pretty yellow so we might just um, drop the carby bowl give it a quick blow out and put some uh, fresh fuel in it and see what happens I don't know what that is it doesn't even smell like pepper. so I'll just let that drain out because it's going everywhere anyway and um, some unleaded out. Right, got some petrol in there. Stuff that actually looks and well, I don't go on my way to sniff it, but it smells like fuel as well. God, the quality of these engines is just, I don't know, it feels like shit. It's cheap, no easy to rub it. Um, the equivalent of these miles, these ones are sold for 10 from memory. Oh, that Rockwell Green. Um, pretty much the same thing as the Garden Line brand of Audi. They sell these. Um, Big W used to sell them under the brand name of Ford of Matic. Somewhere else, I think it was like Home Hardware used to sell them under the brand name Bright Green ones in the same chassis and everything with the brand name just Rock, R O K. Um, they just mass produced shit from China. Anyway, I'll give it a pull before I do anything and see what happens. Yeah, if there's something still the matter. Um, I'll delve in a little bit deeper, make sure the choke's turning on. Might just need a bit of throttle adjustment and go from there. So, I just gave it a bit of a snoot of the um, old Cosme in a can and um, sort of starts and pops and fires. So, I'll pull that spark plug and clean it and try again. Oh, I've had it run a couple of times, but it's running very rich. Um, make sure this choke's turning off. Could just have an accumulation of fuel. Could just be Chinese rubbish. Anyway, I'll leave that air filter off. The choke seems to be open. And um, I'll give it another couple of pulls. Well, that's putrid. So I'll give it a quick clean and try it again. Right. Anyway, it's cleaned up a bit. It's not a Chinese brand of plug in that someone's already changed it. Did get a little bit of water in that spark plug boot too when I washed it, so I'll just let it dry out and see what happens to it. But I'm impatient, so I'll try and get it running. Let's see what happens. Plug was loose as well, someone's already cut it out. But they hadn't cleaned it because that was putrid. Move, sweetie. Choke, see what happens. Off choke. Oh, it fired. Oh, hang on. So I've just dried out the um, spark plug boot a little bit. Double checked our choke linkage is working 100%. I'm just going to put it on run because I've flooded the off out of it. There we go. It doesn't have enough red, so we'll give it a bit of a tune up and pull the clips on it. Do you have to?
I mean, I don't like the rubbish. I call it rubbish when it is. But if someone's given it to me, I'm going to take it. I've got some of these big shit here. It seems like we're barely running. I was going to give it some more um, like engine speed, but I'm not struggling at all with that. People buy these and ram it through the like that. It's it just doesn't quite work like that. These light, dirty things. You know, if you're mowing your lawn, say, or in our state during spring and the autumn is when it grows best, for say, twice a week, and it's only just a little bit of regrowth, maybe even once a week. A lot of people only do it once a month, but when they've got a rink, it's actually good. Um, they're probably doing alright, but at that price point, no one looks up. Anyway, we'll give this another quick rinse off and um, we'll get rid of it. So, in the same pickup, I um, also got that one. I used that one to mow a lawn. Also, got some more. Rubbish. I found that one at the tier. Because I took the rubbish out afterwards. And um, once I got this still, she reckons never had it rain brought from you. But I only give it a go. It's a FS38. And lastly, I got this Victor from the tip for 10 bucks at the shop. Um, oh, I love my old Victor, so this thing can be mid to late 80s and underneath that dust I reckon there'll be a pretty good mower so I'll save that for another project anyway that's all that I've got to update on at the moment um, thanks for watching so let us know in the comments which machine should I look at next and I'll attempt to get onto it tomorrow thanks for watching